This here is Homer the Homesteader. I'm crowding in here with my paper pots I made yesterday. I had a question about what to do with them afterwards. I also noticed I tried to use some free video editing software and it decreased the quality of my video, which I've heard is not something y'all will lag out there in YouTube land. So, first I'll say please like and subscribe or subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can also follow us at Peace of Eden Homestead on Facebook, Homer Homesteader on Facebook, and uh, on Instagram, I think it's Peace of Eden Homestead with underscores between each of the name, names. So uh, I'd like you to help us, uh, help me find some good e video editing software by boosting our channel, maybe sharing it with some of your friends. If you enjoyed a little bit of comedy, a little bit of learning we got going so far, and also as you watch us get into our uh, growth as we move out to the homestead and learning and watch our trials and all of our successes too. But uh, I'd like you to help us. Today I'm going to follow up on, uh, I made some paper pots and somebody asked what I do with them after, so I figured I'd do a little continuation of that. Uh, and so here we go. Uh, you see the pots I made yesterday? I kind of finished folding up to the last step the different stages I had yesterday in the making paper pots. So I made those all into the final step. And so when I'm not going to use them, maybe if I make these up over the winter or uh, some other time, I just stack them like this. That doesn't take up very much room. And uh, you'd be able to uh, do with that, make a big stack of them, put a rubber band around them, and they store pretty readily. And so you can keep those around over the winter with a little rubber band around here. Doesn't take up much space. You can get them made in ahead of the plant season. Another thing I thought about, we had talked about the three different sizes. We'll see here in a bit as I film with dirt, they'll stabilize. Also, I haven't done this before, but I've been told if you save your paper uh, blanks from inside your toilet paper, and uh, I might get this right, cut them on the four corners up about, or you know, straight across from each other, up about an inch or so. You can fold that in, and this is another way to recycle something and make a little uh, planter out of it. Uh, like I said, I never did this before, but here I can see one improvement I might make to that suggestion is also cut about halfway in each of the centers. And then as I fold them in, I'm speculating Part of this homesteading stuff to me is self-sustaining. It's going to be about learning how to make small improvements on what I learned from others. And uh, hopefully you can do the same for yourself. I can see that that may not have improved it much. And so I think I'll just put a piece of tape on my next one. Uh, but there you go. You got a little uh, planter there. Um, and so that's a good way to recycle or reuse your toilet paper blanks now uh, to the follow-up question I talked about how I would store my pots that I had kind of pre-folded and then in the spring or whenever it's planting the right time to plant figure out what seeds you're gonna plant you'll uh, take these paper pots and as I said a couple different times yesterday they get a little bit better shape I'm doing this over a bucket because I've had some times where uh, I spill some, as you can see. Usually by the time I'm done filling up one of these, I have enough in there that I can uh, fill a couple. And so what I do, fill these up. As you can see, that's not very square, but as I, and I do find I have to push some of the dirt down in, pack it in a little bit. Um, so then I keep packing it in like that. And then as you go, or towards the end, you can pull some out and then get the dirt that's fallen into your bucket. Um, until you fill them up. Now another thing I've noted, 
see how I filled these up in my demonstration, my speed to try and demonstrate. I like to leave a little bit down like that um, and pack it in good. And that way when I'm watering, after I put my seed right in the center here, when I'm watering, it leaves a little lip for the water to go in and soak down into the plant. Also, I found keeping them in a bucket, I prefer a tray like this. I prefer stainless steel over plastic. I'm really trying to get away from plastic and completely become organic uh, when we get to the homestead. It's going to be my goal. But uh, I like to put them in a tray like this. So not only leaving that after I've planted the seed, leaving that little bit lets them get watered from the top. But as I keep them in this tray, there will be water down in from below too. And so with the water in the bottom of this tray, it soaks up and it pulls the roots down uh, and gives it a little bit stronger. So uh, main thing I want to do is uh, follow up on the question I had about what it is that I did with the pots after I had made them out of paper. And so, uh, I think I've demonstrated that. I also had a little follow-up on the once you fill them up with dirt, they hold their shape a little bit better. Uh, I think you'll find it useful if you're using this or any pot. Once you plant your seed in the middle, that leaving a little bit at the top as you're getting your seedlings started helps to let the water soak down in. And then again, using a tray like this keeps the extra water in the bottom and that uh, pulls the roots down towards the bottom. Another thing that Horatio had me do when we were planting things like herbs, uh, some sage, oh heck, what else did he have me plant? Basil and some other stuff. Mm, can't remember them all, but he had me plant a mess of them. Is on a pot this size, he was having me plant one or two seeds in each corner. Uh, and even with the tomatoes, he was having me plant one seed here on this side and one seed here on this side. And that way as they came up, when I got the plants, and uh, you might see some of them in the homestead garden when we're up there, we could use one of these pots to get two plants started in and kind of pull their roots apart. Um, and that helped to uh, invigorate their root growth when I put them in. Plus it also made a very effective use of a small space on our kitchen table, well, our dining room table there at the homestead, uh, we could have just a couple trays like this and get a whole lot of plants started. If you think about it, getting two or four started, two or four plants started in each one of these, you could have quite a mess in there. So I just want to follow up on the question what I did with the paper pots. Again, if you could, please subscribe and uh, share our channel with others um, so that Homer can buy him some video editing software and maybe get a little bit better at this YouTube and thing uh, as we go into our homestead and, and look to share more and more knowledge about uh, what we learn as we become self-sufficient. And uh, also, uh, Horatio got a head start on me and that, so you'll get to see me learn from him. Uh, like again, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them below. Thank you very much. Saw you like an update on property.